Hello, my name is Paul Policarpo Vaquera, and I'm a graduate student in computational design in the School of Architecture. My background is in architecture, and I have taken previously to this class 112, 122, but mostly this is my first big project in Arduino. Today, I will be showing you a demonstration of the game that I have designed for project one of gadgets and sensors. The game is called Gravity Simon Game, and it's a remake of the original famous game Simon, invented in 1978 by Howard Morrison and Ralph Baer. The gameplay is fairly simple. The device shows to the player a pattern of sounds and color lights with different tempos, and the player needs to repeat the very same pattern pressing the lights in the correct order. To assemble this game, I have started with uh, an LED matrix that I have assembled into a breadboard and for that probably the most challenging part of this project was to identify each of the pins in the LED matrix and connect them individually to the Arduino. Just checking that the columns uh, should be connected with the resistor and the rows will be directly connected to the pins. One of the most important components in my project is the accelerometer which is uh, able to read the gravity acceleration in each axis of the sensor and send that uh, information to the Arduino. In addition to the LED matrix, I'm using also a speaker to play the sounds at the same time that they appear in the screen. And I'm also using a button connected to the port 13 uh, with a follow-up resistor that will be able to uh, track the different interactions of the player. Let's connect the Arduino to the power and see how this actually works. So we will have at the beginning this arrow that indicates to the player that he should press the button. And once he do it, a uh, count backwards will appear that will indicate that he has to be ready to listen to this pattern. Once the melody has played and the player has recognized those patterns, he can repeat them by basically orienting the breadboard and the game towards one direction or the other and press the button to check that specific pattern into the game. If he succeeds in this task, he will get another melody, which will be probably faster than the one before and more complex. If the player eventually fails one of these patterns, he will get a cross symbol indicating that he has failed, and the melody will be played again so he can um, try one more time. And that would be how Gravity Simon works. Thanks for watching.